What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here and in this one we got the post game report to Michigan's 30 to 10 season opening win over Fresno State. We're going to be going over the key takeaways, talking about everything from this game, plus what some players and coaches said post game as the Michigan defense, they played phenomenal. Michigan offense, they definitely got some work to do, especially now that they have Texas coming in next week. But we're going to be going over everything, so let's go ahead and get right into to it here so right off the rip uh, we might as well start off with the good and that is Michigan's defense this defense is stellar again and I said it all offseason this defense is going to keep Michigan in games that's why I'm not really concerned about this team yes the offense was very inconsistent uh, in this game yesterday which we'll talk about more but when you have this type of defense they're gonna keep you in games and you're gonna have a good season as long as the offense can get it together but I I was really impressed with the defensive line. They really stopped the run. Fresno State only had nine rushing yards in the game. They also forced two turnovers. They had two interceptions, including a pick six by Will Johnson. Now, Will Johnson, he did get beat a couple times. You know, he didn't have the best game, and he even said that in his post-game interview, but uh, he certainly made up for those mistakes with just an outstanding read. I mean, he read that play the whole way. Not many cornerbacks can do that, but Will Johnson he is just a beast also opposite will johnson jair hill he played phenomenal he's going to be a very good cornerback for michigan this season we also got to see amir hall who's the albany transfer he played pretty good as well and the defensive line was as advertised josiah stewart had two sacks rashawn benny had a sack josiah stewart also had three tackles for loss rashawn benny uh two tackle for losses jimmy rolder had tackle for loss and obviously mason graham had a great game four total tackles. Makari Page also played good. Should have had an interception. However, it was just a terrible roughing the passer call by the refs that took that interception back. But Will Johnson later on in the drive did say ball don't lie and took that pick six all the way. Also, Zeke Berry to start out. Um, I mean, this Michigan team came out firing the defense forced an interception Zeke Barry with nice concentration and then the offense went down scored a touchdown Alex Orgy got the touchdown pass Ernest Halsman had a good game four total tackles Quinn Johnson almost got an interception and the one thing I will say um, you know for the whole team the rotations were a bit questionable by Sharon Moore uh, it seemed like he was playing a lot of you know depth players probably trying to get them reps before the Texas game which I don't mind but would have liked to see Michigan get up, uh, you know, in a bigger lead before doing that because at one point, you know, Fresno State's offense was driving and both Jair Hill and Will Johnson were on the sideline. So Michigan, they definitely rotated a lot of players. They played a lot of depth players, it seemed, to get them reps, which, you know, again, I'm, I'm totally fine with it now that we won the game and hopefully that helps them and helped the players get reps before the Texas game. And really the only thing on the defensive side that went wrong was when Fresno State scored the touchdown as Wink Martindale did get a little too aggressive on a third and seven play from the Michigan 16 with an all-out blitz and that's when he threw a touchdown to cut Michigan's lead 16 to 10 but other than that this defense is as advertised going to be one of the best in college football no doubt about it very excited about him and before we talk about Michigan's offense how about Dominic Zavada three for three for field goals with a 55 yard field goal and I believe a 52 yard field goal as well this kid is going to be very clutch for Michigan this season and I posted a tweet about it uh, a little while ago but I said Michigan adding Zavada from the transfer portal might wind up being the most important addition for this team especially if Michigan plays in a lot of close games this season and that could be very very true this season so the defense Dominic Zavada absolutely stellar in this game for Michigan and let's talk about the Michigan offense because you know that is the main question mark for this Michigan team going into Texas next week now they certainly ended the game good uh you know hopefully that last offensive drive where they scored that touchdown 
uh, is a preview of what's to come against Texas because that was a very good drive. Kalo Mullings, the run game was going and uh, it seems like Kalo Mullings could be running back one. Then obviously Davis Warren um, finished it off with the touchdown throw to Colson Loveland who just had an amazing game. Alex Orgy did also come in in that drive and uh, you know ran the ball a couple times. So you know Davis Warren, he is Michigan's starting quarterback. He's going to be the starting quarterback I'm sure against Texas. Alex Orgy only threw the ball twice that touchdown pass and then uh, he did throw a very inaccurate throw on the run so there's no doubt about it davis warren is your best passer on the team he's got great mechanics he went 15 for 25 118 yards one touchdown did throw an interception uh kind of under threw frederick moore there would have liked to see frederick moore come back fight for the ball and try to get it but you know other than that davis warren did his job you know, he definitely could have been better but the whole offense as a whole really has to start just you know gelling together and i think for davis warren to have success the rest of the offense has to come around and help him out and have success together because the offensive line they struggled in this one they definitely got to be better against texas um, especially in the run game early on the michigan was not having success success on or in the run game and the offensive line you know they didn't uh, at times give Warren a chance to set and throw so if they just you know get better in the pass protection and also in the run game I mean that's just going to set Davis Warren up for success you know, Davis Warren showed signs of making good throws it's just really the whole offense as a whole has to come together because you know I, I know this offense can be good you know I think they have the talent to be good they just have to come together gel together and you know it, it's gonna take time I mean if you look at all the players Michigan lost they lost one of the greatest quarterbacks to play at michigan one of the greatest running backs to play at michigan their whole starting offensive line and their two leading receivers so realistically i mean yeah this offense probably should have looked the way they looked last night against you know to their credit a very good fresno state team i mean this is a 9 10 win team that michigan just uh went up against last night so you know i'm not gonna panic about this offense just yet i mean even the last season to start out the season uh michigan didn't put up really you know big numbers but they do have to get better you know uh, donovan edwards you know he's got to get going against texas it would be nice to see him get going the receivers also have to help out you know davis warren really you know with a good coming away from last night's win for the offense was that last drive they really came together the offensive line got was getting a good push kalel mullings was running that rock colston loveland i mean Yesterday, Colston Loveland looked like he may be the leading receiver for this Michigan team this season. Eight receptions, 87 yards, and one touchdown. And other than that, really nobody else produced. Tyler Morris, three receptions, 15 yards. Kendrick Bell, one reception, 11 yards. Samaj, uh, Samaj Morgan, two receptions, eight yards. And uh, Michigan, you know, they were rotating in. Kendrick Bell, uh, Peyton O'Leary, CJ Charleston was out there, Frederick Moore. So, you know, they were playing, uh, rotating in quite a bit of wide receivers, which is pretty nice to see. But those receivers really need to help out and uh, start to make plays. And as far as rushing, you know, again, Kalel Mullings, he looks to be running back one for Michigan because Donovan Edwards didn't really have the best game. He had 11 receptions, 27 yards, did have a receiving touchdown to start out the game. And Kalel Mullings, Mullings just went off 15 carries 92 yards Alex Orgy also had five carries for 52 or excuse me 32 yards so let me know what you guys think uh, about this game your key takeaways but uh, those are my takeaways from the game you know Michigan they got a tough one against Texas Texas has to come to the big house though and with this Michigan defense you know I, I don't think this game is going to be a blowout like some people think Michigan's defense is going to keep them in these type of games it's just going to be up to the offense can they score points and I'll go back to Michigan's three non-conference games last season over East Carolina they won 30 to 3 UNLV they won 35 to 7 Bowling Green they won 31 to 6 and you know it was a long time ago but if you remember you know there was a lot of grumbling from the fan base about those victories so it's early in the season this team's only gonna get better and better uh the defense already looks really good so i'm not worried there it's just the offense you know the offensive line is going to get better obviously and uh, they got a really big challenge coming up against texas we'll see 
if and how uh, this offense responds. Sean Moore post game though, you know, he said, we're going to always try to be perfect. Defense played really good, but there are some things they want to get better at. Offense, we had our ups and downs, but we're going to try to get better. He said, you know, for us, all the phases, special teams as well, we're just going to strive to be better. And Sean Moore also said, you know, offense, it takes time. You're not going to be the same product you were in week one in week two. You'll be better next week, so it's going to take time for them to gel. And I did say, you know, they needed to get that last drive to get what it feels like to be together and grind through a game is going to help prevail for us for sure. And then uh, Davis Warren also talked post game. And by the way, I mean, what a story for Davis Warren, you know, a, a walk on just his story throughout high school, very unfortunate events for him, had leukemia, the COVID year didn't help him out. Jim Harbaugh took a chance on him, gave him a, a walk on scholarship. And now he's the starting quarterback for Michigan and just won his first game as the starting quarterback. But uh, Davis Warren, he he said that, you know, what kept me here was this culture, this group. You know, Jim Harbaugh, he took a chance on me. I wasn't a surefire guy with all the stars and all that, but he took a chance on me, gave me the opportunity to come here, and I owe it to him and to this program and this university and these guys to be here. And I never wavered. I never had any interest in leaving or going anywhere else. And I said, I, I've thought about this day for a long time, envisioned it a lot. I'm proud of the way I played. And feel like obviously the win is the most important stat there are things to clean up but i'm really proud of myself and just joining to get out there next week and do it better so i know this is going to be a lot of you know uh, probably some negative comments about Davis Warren and uh, the quarterback battle for that matter. I know a lot of people wanted to see Alex Orgy as the starter, but at the end of the day, you know, I do think Michigan, they need a passer. And I think Davis Warren is going to be that best version of a quarterback that this team is going to need this season. But there's no doubt Michigan's going to still use Orgy in certain packages, just like they did use him, uh, you know, in yesterday's game. But, you know, the, the offense as a whole, they got a lot to clean up, a lot to uh, work on and like Sharon Moore said you know the offense isn't going to look and be the same product you were in week one in week two you know you're gonna be better next week and you're gonna be uh, getting better throughout the season so you know, as far as the defense special teams Dominic Zavada a lot of good there to take away as far as the offense they got a lot to work on and uh, a lot to uh, clean up in a short period of time before they take on a top five Texas team but nonetheless Michigan gets the win a win is a win 30 to 10 over a very good Fresno State team who again I wouldn't be surprised if they win 9-10 games but uh, now for Michigan, Texas is on the clock. And with that, that's going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead, drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more if you are new around here. I greatly appreciate it. Other than that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Go Blue!